Drive with Bill Cameron on ESPN 1067 and online at ESPNAU.com. Interesting. I mean, obviously right now everyone's wondering, you know, how, you know, how does Auburn adjust without Javon Robinson? Uh, We're also wondering, I mean, will Marshall Taylor now be a part of the team? Yesterday, you know, after the first day, Gus Malzahn just said uh, he he missed for, for personal reasons. Right. And he should be back soon. Yesterday, he said, as of right now, he's still part of the team. Which is an interesting way that's, to phrase that. That's a much different, that's a much different way, that's a much different answer than, well, he's still out and could be back soon. Now it's like he may or may not be back. Right. And there, there are sources out there saying that... AL.com? Yeah. Kripea. Yeah. yeah. I read that uh-huh. earlier today saying he was... One of the guys that they were at a party together and in they Columbus, kind of, and they kind of got into something there. Well, yeah, according according to the story on AL dot com, um, Marshall Taylor and Javon Robinson. Now, I didn't say if there were any other players, but it just said mm-hmm. they were at a party in Columbus where there was an altercation between folks at the party and Marshall Taylor. Right, and Javon Robinson felt that he was blamed for that. Okay, so I mean that's and and again. That's there's no way to know exactly what happened. I've heard all different kinds of crazy things, but that's the first thing that I've seen written about something there. So and uh, according to that story, sources that uh, James Corpea had told him that Marshall Taylor did not want to be part of the team at Auburn if Javon Robinson was still on it. Yeah, I thought that was interesting. I saw that quote. And uh, I mean, I doubt that he got kicked off because of that statement right there. But. You know, you talked uh, yeah, yesterday. Be, how, you talked yesterday how the team is going to react. I mean, I'm sure. I'm sure with all this stuff going on, Marshall Taylor wouldn't be the only one that didn't want him there. Well, no, I, and it's it's hard for me to believe that a that a graduate transfer who's been on campus for a month or so that's a good point would would be able to go. I don't want to be on the team if the starting tailbacks on the team. Yeah, you don't you don't have a lot when, of pull when, there when you're when you're someone that. Maybe battling for a job on the defensive side of the ball. Right. That would. That, I mean, that's really odd. 